Good day, class. Hi, Mr. Merlin. How are you? Good afternoon, Mr. Merlin, sir. Who is ready for a magic challenge today? I'm most certainly ready with my modern approach. Meh, nah, trust me. There's nothing better in wizardry than good old classics. Uh-oh, please excuse me. I guess I shouldn't have eaten that pudding. Please start, and I'll be back. Aha! Uh -huh. It's my grandpa's spell book. It's a bit dusty. <laughs> okay, let's see. Don't you need a book, Raj? Um... Hmm, a book? I can just watch a tutorial online, and I bet I'll find the recipe faster than you. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Or I'll use you for my potion! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, that's exactly what I need! Let's get to business. Check this out, Sam! Whoa! That was incredible, Roger! Thanks. So, this is the first ingredient that I need. Water. I will just pour it into my cauldron. Here we go! Carefully, like this. All the way through! Now, let's make it boil and swell. One, two, three. Wow, it looks like something magical did happen after all. What was that? Hey, no peeking, Sammy. Whatever. Hey, where's my magic hat? Here it is. Thank you. Now, where was I? Ah, I need the first ingredient. Are you ready? And go. Oh, no, it's my favorite hat. How will we sort out the students from now on? Sam, we're not at Hogwarts. Anyway, where was my... Ah... Here in the pocket, I have the ingredient number two. Do you want to see what it is? As you can see, we need quite a lot of fairy dust. Or powdered unicorn horn. Or whatever this is. Great! Now that we poured it into the cauldron as well, let's mix everything up really well. Here we go. Swirl, swirl, swirl. One, two, three. Nicely done. But I've got all spider webs here. No, not my web. What would you do now without the web, Raj? What? What are you talking about? I don't need even a tiny piece of that spider web, Sammy. It's an ancient approach to potion making. My magical numbers will get me just to the right place. So, who wants to see how the ingredient number three looks like? Oh, it's a star. How nice. I think it has just gotten out from under the sea. And back in the water you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, let's give it some more mixing. Oh, I nearly forgot. In order to make sure that your potion turns out great, you should subscribe to this channel. Here goes tap, tap, tap. Amazing! I just love the sounds that it makes. That's what I call new modern magic. Yeah! Well, well. According to the recipe, the next ingredient that I need is gold. And I perfectly know where to get it. <laughs> oh, my precious. Come to Papa! There can't be too much gold. <laughs> more. I need more. Okay. Come on, come on. There you go. Gold for the perfect glow. Sounds about right. Wait. Sam, did you throw all our money in there? Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, friends. Here I have my ingredient number four. Whoa. What is this? Looks like a feather of some kind of magical bird. Let's throw it in. Uh-huh. And mix it all up really well. Nice. I wonder what can we possibly have next? Let's see. And the next item on my list is... Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I saw that somewhere around. But I don't see it here. All right. Maybe it is over here? No? Ugh. Oh, come on, thingy. I really want to win in this challenge. Where are you hiding? Nothing! Uh, Raj, did you see? I see everything, Sammy. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> now, into the cauldron. You go. It's mixing time. As my grandpa used to say, the right consistency is everything for a proper potion. Whee! Or was he talking about slimes? Oh, my Tibidaba! What is that smell, Sammy? Are you sure that you're doing it right? I command you to stop! Phew, that's better. And we're moving on to the ingredient number five. It looks very interesting. Let's see what it is. Here we go. Hmm, is it a snowball or something? Anyway, it goes right here. Whoa, can you see that, folks? It dissolves in a funny way. Awesome! 
Wow, I guess I'm gonna win. Just two more ingredients to go. Yeah. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yay! Are you kidding me, Sammy? Stop sabotaging my work by throwing stuff in my way! Whoopsie! Don't be angry, Roger! I didn't mean to do that! It's okay. Just be more careful next time, alright? <laughs> now, I'm going to reveal the secret of this baggie number six. What's this? Oh, wow! We're going big! Look, friends, it's a diamond! I so don't want to waste it on the potion. It's so pretty! But it seems that I have no choice if I want to win. So, let's do this. Just check this out. My potion changed its color. Whoa, whoa, what are those sparkles? That's crazy! What? Let me see, let me see! Hey, I told you not to peek! Uh oh fine! <laughs> In that case, you shouldn't peek here too. It's my secret ingredient, friends. If Roger asks, you know nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm at the finish line here. This is my very last ingredient. The spell. Ha-ha. <laughs> uh-huh. It looks like it's been inscribed on this papyrus. Let's see what it says. I'll do the reading. bibbity bobbity subscribity. Ah! Uh... Shiver me, Chatters. Roger, where are you? I'm here, Sammy. I turned into a flower head or something. Help me! Call Master Merlin, or read that spell again. Don't sweat it! Y'all should hit the thumbs up button to bring Roger back! Aha! Please bring him back, please! Oh, I'm here! And I'm me again! Thank you so much, Sammy. Ah, uh, it's no biggie. Here's your thing. Oh, that's right, thanks! I'm still gonna win? <sighs> Alrighty, here comes the final ingredient of my potion. It's time to reveal the winner. Ooh, I can already see that it's happening. Whoa, it's the magic fog. Was it supposed to be like that? Uh-oh, can I switch it off somehow? Why can't I see anything? Oh no, did I do it all wrong? Holy macaroons! Who is this? He looks so cool and so sweet! Come here, you little creature! Oh, you're so fluffy and soft! Whoa! He has such pretty eyes! <laughs> yeah, and he wants to become your friend, Sammy! Really? Well, I'm flattered! Look at him, fellas! Isn't he the cutest of all? Oh. Okay, it's time to see what I will get from my potion! <laughs> We're scared! Sam! I told you not to use ancient recipes! So how is it going here? Whoa! Oh, Merlin's beard? Who did that? Sorry! That was me! I guess I'm not as good at potions as I thought! Of course you're not! And this little buddy agrees with me! And you would have got the same furry friend if you used modern magic like I did! What am I hearing, Roger? We don't talk like that. Sorry, you wizard ship. There's nothing magical in bullying your best friends. Your magic skills are fine, but your people skills, not so much. Now, let me see what happened here. Ah, Sammy, you read the recipe upside down. But don't be upset. It happens to me all the time. Just be more attentive, okay? Seriously? Friends, you should always be attentive when you read stuff, too. Bye-bye! Uh, Sammy? Are you okay? Hey, now! Food! Um, okay. Um, want a candy? I want a cake! Huh? Susie, open your eyes! Did you say something about a cake? Huh? Oh, but where's the... Oh, stop blabbering! Will we make a cake or not? Hi, guys. It seems like the Halloween spirit is still here. Yeah, if I was a monster, then here's your spider dust! Spider dust? Is it safe? It looks like flour to me. Uh-huh. Did you hear something else? 
Guys, I think today we'll make some weird spooky cake. Let's celebrate Halloween again! Woo! Add some ghost tears in there! Let's see what this is. Hmm, it's sweet like sugar. Uh, cause it is sugar. What's going on? You're acting weird. <laughs> okay, I'll play along. Should we call this unicorn horn powder? Hmm, shiver me cheddars. That's just plain baking powder. Are you sure? What will you say about this ingredient? Let me try it. Yeah, but let's call it bad teeth, for example. I like the way you're thinking today. <laughs> now things are getting tough. We'll add some butter, huh? And mix the ingredients again. Thanks for the help, slime witch! Our mix turned into sand. Dragon eggs, turtlenecks, make this cake a bombshell! But don't forget to mix them really good. <laughs> Sam, your dragons are too tiny to be scary. Don't mock me for my magic, Sue! Better keep mixing! <laughs> your wish is my command! Dragon eggs are in the bowl. To make a fluffy sponge cake, we need some milk, too. Guys, don't get confused. It's just an oil you all have at home. And this is definitely a love potion for our Sammy. <laughs> I wanna smell it! Oh, uh, 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 what a heaven made essence! This is vanilla extract for extra flavor. Did we miss something? Yep, there you go. Let's call it, uh, jellyfish with milk! <laughs> Guys, we usually call it a Greek yogurt. <laughs> Kids will cry cause in this flower, I'll put lime to make it sour! <laughs> <laughs> there we go! <laughs> I'll make an even better potion by adding whale tears! A huge portion! Now let's mix it all up! <laughs> Time to bake! Witchers, prepare your spells! <laughs> we should prepare a cake tin! And add some oil to the bowl. This way. After all preparations are done, we'll fill it up with the batter. Wow! It came out great! Uh -oh. What temperature should I put a spell in the oven? 140 degrees Celsius. You got it! 50 minutes in the oven should be enough. Stay tuned! Only some crust, which I already cut off. Be careful using a knife, guys. Mm, this is so good! <laughs> Sam's turned into a hungry werewolf because of the slime moon. Uh, my stomach is finally full! Sue, be careful with the sponge cakes! We'll use them to make a magic cauldron with a smoky potion. You're gonna need a secret ingredient to make the magic cauldron! Hmm, black heart essence? Where will I get it? Brought you another ingredient, mommy's cream essence. With it. <laughs> um, it looks like a normal butter to me. I said whip it and hurry up, Susan. Okay, okay, got it. Let's roll. Enough. Now you can slow down for a while. Oh, Sammy was exhausting. Don't do this again. Mm, great. It's nice and fluffy. Did you find the second ingredient? Actually, we used it before. Guys, do you remember what stands behind ghost tears? Oh, you won. It's sugar. These are the last two ingredients you need. <laughs> Yay! But for any good potion, mixing goes first. Now for the black heart essence. Let's start with cocoa powder. Even which left makes it even better. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> um, you can stop it for now! Let's build the cauldron! Guys, repeat all the steps and don't you dare blink! No, Sue, it's too hard! Let's make them not to yawn or sneeze! Uh, oh no! Uh, 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 
Tokyo King, no conditions then. Just have fun and do your best. And here's the second part of the cauldron. <laughs> a round cookie cutter to make the cauldron top. Now we'll cover it all with frosting and put it in the fridge too. Wow, it looks so cool! Guys, see you in a moment! And don't forget to subscribe! Guys, we put two parts of our cake together and covered it with frosting. And this is what we've got! Wow! I can't wait to have a closer look! <laughs> looks cool! But when we're gonna finish it? If you wanna speed up the process, better take care of the fondant. Guys, be prepared. We're gonna create a real monster. A monster? Here! Susan, I'm scared! <laughs> it's a fondant tentacle. It's tasty, but not scary. I was kidding. Let's have a tentacle fight! Wait, let me add blue suction cups for extra intimidation. <laughs> The battle? Then I should raise an army. Whoosh! <laughs> Much better. Are you ready, Sam? Forget about tentacles! I have an all seeing eye! Are you sure it's an eye? I don't see an iris or pupil. Exactly! Because I kind of thought that you'll have me with it. <laughs> you didn't have to ask. We'll start with a blue iris and then place a black pupil in the center. Let's add some highlights, too. Do you know what will be even scarier? A bloodshot! Great idea! It's all yours then! Go on and finish the design! Okay. And I'm gonna create a witch fire! Guys, you've never seen such a colorful flame! <gasps> wow, it looks so cool! Now we'll just cut out the most colorful parts with an oval cookie cutter! <gasps> Holy cannoli! I didn't know that witch flames are oval! <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you, but I haven't finished yet! Here, check this out! for slime witches! Hmm, then you should make a sacrifice to the fire spirit. Will fondant decorations do? What do you say? Amazing! And I have a brilliant idea. Wow, just look at this masterpiece! Check out these cool tentacles! And the flame that looks so real! And this eye is watching you! <laughs> Right! And here it is, some dry ice. Are you ready, guys? Here we go! Sammy, it's all right. Do you know what's the best way to fight your fears? Guys, be careful with the knife. Ask the adults to help you cut the cake. Uh, fine. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. No, I'm scared. Sammy, yeah. come back. Okay, what? <gasps> awesome. My fears are so yummy. <laughs> Guys, you should try this recipe at home. I'm sure you'll love it. just reminded you to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you soon! <sighs> what am I supposed to do with you? Oh, hi, beastie! Da -da -da -da. Um, Sammy, why are you talking like that? Uh, I just watched Maleficent again! Oh! And that made you call this little doll beastie? 
I was referring to you, actually. What? Huh. Oh, no, don't get mad, Susie. You remember that it was what she called Aurora, right? But she did it because she loved her, by the way. And, uh, I kind of love you, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love you, too, Sammy. And since we're talking about Maleficent here, I think I know what we should do with this doll. Hello, beasties. Oops, Sammy confused me a bit. I meant hi, guys. Today we'll turn an old Brad's doll into a little copy of the beautiful yet powerful fairy Maleficent. Oh, I love this movie and this character. Can't wait to see what we'll get at the end of our craft. What about you guys? Do you like Maleficent? Then give a thumbs up to this video. Oh, look, her hair is a mess. Hmm, what should we do about this? Any ideas, Sammy? Well, in my expert opinion, we should cover everything with a nice hat. Follow my lead, Sue. Uh-uh. You don't have clotted hair. I think the only option here is scissors. Guys, be careful when working with sharp objects. We'll quicken the process a bit. Voila! Bibbity bobbity subscribity! <laughs> Sammy, what a wonderful wizard's assistant you are. Or rather, an assistant to our doll fairy to be. Now we're gonna need some plastic wrap. It will help us make a wig with horns for our doll. We will press the wrap really tight to the doll's head. This way, the wig will be the right size and fit perfectly. Then goes the second layer. We'll use wet wipes for this. Either take a big one or just take two of them like I did. We'll also press it tight to the doll's head like this. And secure everything with a thread. We need to make sure it doesn't move or fall off. It should cover the whole head. We'll shape it later. And now we'll need some white glue. We'll pour it like this. Be careful here, guys. Try not to glue yourselves. Oh, it's okay even if you touch the glue a little bit. Hot water and soap are the perfect solution for this. So we're carefully spreading the glue with a brush all over the surface like this. Now we'll leave it for a bit, and when the glue sets, the wipes will keep the doll's head shaped, and we'll continue. Hey, Susie, don't you think that right now the doll looks more like a mummy than a fairy? <laughs> You're right, Sammy, but don't worry. I'm about to fix this. The first thing is we'll draw the outline of the future wig. Do you remember it, guys? It was a bit of a pointy bit here at the forehead. Oh, I love these bold lines, Sue. Thanks. And here on the back of the head, we'll draw a line like that, not too close to the neck. Let's see what we have here. Look, guys. The glue is already hard enough and keeps the shape of the doll's head. Now we can easily cut out the base for our wig. Oh, by the way, Sammy, do you know where our polymer clay is? The one left from our recent craft? We're gonna need some now. Got it! I'm already on my way! Great. While I'll be finishing here. Be very careful with sharp tool, guys. Remember, it's better to ask an adult to help. Mm. Look what a nice cap we have here. It fits perfectly. Uh, I hope this will be enough. Thanks, Sammy. Give a thumbs up to my wonderful assistant. As you can guess, guys, we'll need polymer clay to make the horns for our Maleficent. We'll take two pieces equal in size approximately like this. I mean, the horns should be equal, right? Or, I better say, symmetrical. We'll take one piece first and roll it to the desired size. And then we'll make a delicate curl like that. And then we'll take the second piece of clay and do the same. Here we go. Pretty symmetrical to the first one, huh? And after this, we'll simply attach the two horns to the cap. Ugh, it's better to press them a bit to secure them. <clears throat> oh, horns! Hold well! <laughs> oh, Sammy! We'll secure them with clay, not magic. Just apply the clay all over the surface of the wig. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's use a bit of magic here. Huh? Looks cool, right? Just a bit left. We'll paint it black. And the beautiful headdress is ready!
make sure to cover the doll just like I did and wear rubber gloves, guys. Be careful with spray paint. It's coming out awesome! Hey, look, guys! Our little beauty already looks like Maleficent in this wig! We need a bit more to make the picture complete. The correct makeup. Oh yeah, her eyes should be frighteningly beautiful. We're beautifully frightening. Ooh, good question, Sam. We'll know when we're done. First, we need to make her face a bit paler. By the way, Sammy, I have a really important assignment for you. You can't scare me with important, Susie. <laughs> Our fairy needs her wings, which have feathers and… No more words. I'm on my way. Oh, <laughs> what a responsible slime. I wish everybody had such a helper. In the meantime, I'll get back to the makeup. The eyes of our doll are already green, just like Maleficent's. We'll make them a bit brighter using green eyeshadows. A bit of white color here. And blend it a little. This will totally look like the makeup of a real fairy. Let's quickly do the same with the second eye. Oh, it looks magical! But I think we'd better make the eyeliner brighter, too. Here we go… Nice! Oh, this really reminds me of Maleficent's powerful look! Guys, what do you say? And we should probably make the eyebrows brighter and more expressive. The final touch, false lashes. And then… The makeup is done! And our little doll can be rightfully called a fairy Maleficent. Wonderful! I think you can fly on these eyelashes if you blink your eyes really fast. <laughs> Speaking of flying, where is Sammy with those feathers for the wings? We're about to start crafting them! I'm here! I swallowed the feathers! Oh, wow, let me help you. Stand still, Sammy. Well, you did that makeup really fast, too. But I'd make these lips red, you know. Of course you would. Oh, the great Maleficent expert. A bit of white here to make them look more realistic. Perfect. All that's left are Maleficent's famous cheekbones. We'll draw them with pastel crayons. Make the powder like this. Please, be extra careful and don't cut your fingers. Mm. Now we'll take a thin brush and apply the powder on her cheekbones. There you go, pretty. It's time to get dressed. Check out these paper patterns I made in advance for the dress of our little Maleficent. We'll place them all on fabric so that we don't get confused when cutting them out. Magic will help us save some time. Oh! The next step is sewing everything. Hey, Susie, you know what? We can make Aurora afterwards and all the other characters, and we'll have the whole magic world of Maleficent. Oh. <laughs> Hold your horses, Sammy. Let's finish this first. Please, Susie, let me help you. I'm the best sewer after all. Okay, Master Sam. Your help will be quite handy here. And in the meantime, I'll make the wings. Check out this wing base I made from thin cardboard. Now we'll take glue and feathers. I wonder where Sammy found these. Don't worry, Susie. No birds were harmed. Oh, <laughs> that's great news. Okay, so we'll take one feather and carefully glue it to the cardboard base. Then we'll take another one… And another, and so on. Big feathers go first, followed by the smaller ones. Oh, guys, they're so cute and stylish! And here is her outfit! Whoa, Sammy, this dress is gorgeous! <gasps> no way! You even sewed a zipper? Now it'll be really easy to put this dress on our doll. Oh, and this cape is just awesome, Sammy! You're the best fashion designer ever! Yeah, what would you do without me? Come on, let's try it on our little Maleficent. Oh, it fits! This is so great! 
I bet she's delighted. So we should give her wings immediately so that she won't get mad at us. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. I'm sure she knows that we're her friends. Up, done. Hmm. Something's still missing here. <gasps> A magic, magic stab. stab! We'll do it in a few moments. One, two, three, four. Voila. We'll take a bamboo stick and apply some hot glue all around it. You need to do it really slow so that the glue is distributed unevenly. See? It's as if the staff is made out of tree branches. Just be careful with the hot glue, guys. And a small emerald on top. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's just a rhinestone. Now it's time to paint it. Whoa, this really looks like tree branches joined together to give Maleficent her magic power and strength. And to make it look even more magical, a touch of gold paint. All done. Aha! Beware the enemies of Maleficent! She has feathers and a magical staff! Guys, check her out! She looks almost like Maleficent's twin sister. Oh, these wonderful fluffy wings! And her magic staff that looks like the real thing. Yeah, Susie, I guess we just turned a beastie into a beauty, huh? Try to create your favorite characters from different fairy tales, guys. And you'll know that they can magically come out of long-forgotten stuff. Bye, all And don't forget to get creative! Bye-bye!